I love video games, and probably so do you. If you've ever felt that games are consuming you, rather than you consuming them, this is the perfect video for you. I've spent a good part of my life playing video games, but it wasn't until I clocked 10 plus hours a day that I realized that this was becoming an addiction. After being addicted for the majority of my life, I got rid of it all, and I turned it into my full-time job and my personal brand. Turning the burning passion I had for video games that was once a very beautiful thing into a toxic relationship, and now it's something that I'm very proud to present. By the end of this video, it will be clear to you what creates this strong connection to video games, why you should get rid of it, and how you can transform it as well as the benefits of quitting gaming and starting to create instead. But let's first start at the top. What even creates this strong connection to video games in the first place? I've played games my entire life, but it wasn't until I turned to online games that I really saw what was going on. Playing together with your eligible friends was a, both a blessing and a curse, because I suddenly had a community. Having people that had the same view as you, people that would rather stay in a Friday night and game instead of going out to party, this is my type of people. But it wasn't just the community. I always became obsessed with the fact that you could climb in ranks and become the best version of yourself in the game. The competitive side of me had awoken. Where normal boys my age turned to football to crush their competition, I turned to video games. I believe the strong connection is formed by a blend between the community and the competitiveness that games gives us. That doesn't sound so bad, right? So why should we get rid of it? You might already have the answer to this, but if we want to answer the question in this video, we'll need to look further inside of ourselves. Being in a community is not always positive, especially if the community does not align with the same goals as you. The same with the competitiveness. Do you ever really feel fulfilled by gaining a rank in a video game? In retrospect, I never did at least. It was just a short burst of joy. A way to escape your life and your responsibilities. Together with wasting so much time away, it also leaves an imprint on your mind, so you go around thinking of the game all day. It stimulates your brain so much that after you're done gaming, you don't really want to do anything else. That was it for me at least. I wanted so much more out of life. I didn't want video games to define me. I wanted to explore, enjoy and create things. Like a YouTube channel, becoming a part of a community, actually enjoying real relationships and becoming someone that I'm actually proud of. And I believe that is the reason why we should get rid of things that's holding us back in life. For me and for a lot of other people. This is video game addiction. So how do we transform this into something positive instead? There is nothing wrong with an addiction. As long as the addiction is something you're proud of. Some people would say that you're addicted to working, a workaholic. But I believe that to be something good. Because I take pride in it. And exactly that is what you should try to do with gaming. Not suppress it or kill it, but transform it. We need to get high from something else instead. For me, I tried web development, editing, graphics works, and although all of them were good and fun to try out, I realized quite quickly that you could actually make games. And I had a pre-start because I was already in the space of gaming. I quickly picked up Unity and Unreal and started creating something. And it was very bad. It was very bad, but it was something and it scratched the itch that I once had with video games. The benefits of creating rather than consuming games are really astronomical. First of all, if you want to transition into game dev, you're almost halfway there because you know the games in and out. You maybe even know some technical stuff about them. Another benefit is staying close to your passion. But the most important thing is what you feel afterwards this transformation. When I did this transformation, I started to feel pride. My guilt around games left me. And now I control when I play video games again. It doesn't control my time anymore. No matter what you create, it will certainly be more impressive than defeating the raid boss for the 5000th time or completing your 100th daily challenge. And the best part about this is that you stay close to your video game passion. You can transition to creating games and stuff. You still experience the high of the community and scratch the itch of the competitiveness when you try to become better and better at your craft. Video games are definitely a part of the life, but they're not all there is to life. So really have the talk with yourself. Do you play the game or do the game play you? You can quit all gaming and start creating instead. And whenever you feel like this transition is going to happen, you will probably stumble upon how video games actually work technically. 
Because whatever path you take in game dev, you will need to know some of the technicality that goes into creating video games. And this is exactly why you should check out the next video that covers exactly how video games are rendered. Check it up up here.